Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4. It's been five years since the city adopted revisions to Title VII, the ordinance that regulates animal cells. Uh, Stephanie Valle has more. Welcome back to ABC 7 at 4. It's been five years since the city adopted revisions to Title VII, the ordinance that regulates animal sales. The goal was to reduce euthanizations, but it seems that other problems have cropped up since that happened. My Good Morning El Paso co-host Stephanie Valle is investigating those very issues and joins me now to talk about the special report that you've been working on. And so far, what is the biggest problem that they've seen? Well, Hillary, like you said, euthanasia was the biggest problem in 20. 12, there were about 25,000 animals put down in El Paso County just for that year, but that number has gone down to 2015. Now it's more than 14,000 uh, animals that were put down, but now the bigger problem that's emerged is backyard breeders. They're finding that they cannot find who these people are because they don't have the permits to sell. So what they're doing is they're going online. They're selling puppies um, that are under age, which is another big problem. They cannot regulate all of this. And uh, the animals are ending up suffering because of this. So what kind of permits does the city actually require of these people who are trying to sell the puppies? Well, like I mentioned, uh, you need to have all sorts of different permits. You have to have a seller's permit. So if you want to sell puppies, you have to have a seller's permit. You also have to have a breeder's permit. That's if you have an animal that is certified as a purebred and you're going to be breeding it. You also need to have a litter permit. That's if, say, you have an animal and it becomes pregnant, not of um, any intention of your own, and you have to have a litter permit in order to make sure that those puppies are accounted for. And like I mentioned, if you want to sell any of those animals, you have to have the seller's permit. And you mentioned it's really hard for them to, to keep track of all of these animals that are being sold. And you actually had to go undercover for this report. Yes, and this is something that I worked with Animal Services. We worked with the Humane Society. The animal has to be eight weeks old to be sold. And we were finding people that were selling them at six weeks old, at four weeks old. And there were a lot of problems that come with that. So was it really eye-opening for you then to do this report? It was because this is something that came about when I was just talking to a friend and a family member within the last few weeks and I had learned that they both had found a puppy online, they bought the puppy and then later learned that it was underage and they had a lot of issues trying to socialize, trying to make sure that they could get the proper feeding um, done for the animal and it was something that I wasn't really aware of. I mean I knew that you couldn't sell an animal that was under the uh, eight weeks of age but when I talked to Betty Hoover about it just one day, I asked her, is this a problem that you see of, of people selling underage pets? She was so agitated because she says it's just a huge problem that has cropped up and that's so hard to regulate. So we'll see what you learn during our special report and that airs tomorrow night right here on ABC 7 at 10. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank kind you. of fun to interview you instead of <laughs> talking with you. And we'll be right back with more on ABC 7 at 4. Keep it here.